Oh guys, guys, guys. When I was just getting those ferns out, look, found the nerf worm. Let's feed it to Pancho. And then I realized that there's actually just a switch on the back. So that is looking sick. This is my big Rainbow River Aquatarium. You have got a nice, neat little plant parcel. Oh uh, yeah, that's working really well, look. Welcome back to the channel everybody, I hope you're doing well. So in the last video, we went to the pet shop, bought a new tank, because I smashed the other one. <laughs> I don't know if I smashed it, but I picked it up when I was going to use it after planning this for like well over a month. And it was a massive crack running down the middle, so I was gonna try and repair it, and then I just thought, you know what, probably is it just to buy a new one. Peace of mind really, isn't it? So we've got a tank here now. Uh. <laughs> So we've got a tank here now. There's no light above it. We need to put a light up so we can see it, it look good. It's not gonna be a light that the turtles will use for basking with, but it'll be a light for us really and for the plants. If I can get plants to grow in it, that is. So first of all, let's just get that light hung so we can see what we're doing. So I'm basically just gonna use the same light that I've got hung above the dirty tank versus the Aquasaur tank. It does a good job. It's nice and cheap. It's the Pled 510 from All Pond Solutions. Nice cheap light guys that works everywhere. That's our lighting, that's looking great, happy with that. But we now need to add in the special bulb, which is basically one that provides UVB and UVA to our turtle. Now this is necessary because the turtle needs to be able to get nutrients from this light. Uh, so you need to make sure you've got that. It's not just the normal light, you need both. Well, technically you need one, which is the UVB, UVA, and then like ambient light would be good as well. But I don't want that, I want it to be you know, highlighted and looking smart. <laughs> so I was ready to just throw an absolute hissy fit and go, oh, the light's not working, I plugged it in, I changed the fuse out, I've done everything like that. And then I realized that there's actually just a switch on the back. <laughs> Such an idiot. A few things to note. First of all, the spread of the light looks pretty decent. It is UVA and UVB, which means that, you know, it's, it should provide everything that the turtle needs for their shell and development. That remains to be seen, obviously, because I'll be able to spot if it's getting any deficiencies. You can see it in the shell if you know what you're looking for. So if that's the case, you can spot it quickly. You can change it out. You can get it You can get it fixed. So that's not to worry about. But yeah, so we're set up. We are set up apart from filtration, but that will come later on. I'm still not sure whether I want to do a hidden internal filter or just go with the real clean look of the hang on the side filter that I've got there. I don't think it will spoil the view, you know, and you can clean it regularly as well. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I'm thinking maybe just put the internal filter in there and then build up rock around it. And then I can just slide it in and out whenever I want to do any cleaning because turtles are messy buggers. So you do need to prepare for the cleaning. So what I'm going to be going for is, I don't know if any of you guys have seen, you might have seen. Anyway, if you haven't, then I'll leave a little link up to it. But I did an ecosystem tank. I've done it twice now, in fact. And the actual shape of it is two islands. Now that's going to work really well because I can have one as a basking area with some, you know, emerging plants. I could have one as a full planted area, but also sort of like gravelly beach. It's hard to explain, but you know, I think, I think we can do something really cool with that. Use a bit of silicon, a bit of sand. I don't know, like, I just think that'd be cool. Let's go for that. Let's just do it. Right guys, currently I'm in my old studio. I just want to show you something quickly. Right, this water isn't dirty. It's just full of tannings from all of those bits and bobs, leaves and things that were inside the water. But as you can see, I, oh, I hate it when it does this. As you can see, I've still got all the fish that I've had before. Um, it's, all the, it's all the Danios and it's all of my red cherry shrimp I've got in there, look. I've got so many cool little things in here. I couldn't bring it in myself to take them all back, so I've just lowered the water level. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna bring them into the studio, the new studio, why not? I've got a couple of plant vat tanks that some of them can go in temporarily until we put them in the bigger tanks. 
you know, they're all filtered, they're all nice, they're all clean, they've all been set up for a while and they're heated, so why not? As you've just seen, I've taken out all of that substrate that was in there. That's because that's gonna be really useful for our new setup. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up, but not with tap water, just with tank water. And then we can sieve out all the bad stuff and it'll be really good to put as a base then for the new tank those are beneficial bacteria all going to be good so here's all the rock i managed to get not that that's dragonstone but here's all the rock i managed to get out of that skate there's loads to choose from so we're going to get this in the tank now So yeah, you can see there guys, I've just placed the filter behind. So, and then there's a little outlet pipe that can shoot water this way. It'll pull water in around the back. It'll get it all nice and clean for us. And then I'm just gonna put rocks on top of that that could be easily removed at any point just to clean it all out. Or even I'll just be able to slide it in and out, but yeah. So then we've got like a nice little natural looking platform with in fact, I've actually made it so that I can slide out the filter at any point I want um, just by putting the lead a bit longer. But it's so much easier just to just pull off that, pull off that rock, it'll be fine. But we do need a little bit of detail, I think, because that just looks weird on its own. So what you want to do is use smaller rocks like this one and just maybe, you know, something like that, a little outcrop or something. You know, just play around with it until you get something that looks natural. Like to me, that doesn't look natural. <laughs> it's too much of a straight line at the front. So we can just flip it, maybe something like that something further back yeah see already that looks better and it kind of feels like it's missing something in this section so yeah I'll just just play around with it now and I'll just time-lapse that so that is looking sick in my opinion guys you'll notice that I'm doing a lot more of a simple skate this time that's because my experience with turtles has taught me that how dirty they are and you know it's quite a small aquarium they're going to grow quite quick they're going to be pooping a lot the reason i've done it like this is so that at any point i can just take out those rocks take out those rocks vacuum up the mess or whatever you know and then re-put it back in yeah it won't go back in exactly the same but it'll be almost but also in this aquarium what i also want to have is plants tucked in behind so what i've done here left gaps look you can see down there down this way down here so that I can actually put some of my little parcels that I make with my um, plants in. Let me show you what I mean. So this is my big Rainbow River Aquatorarium. There's water being fed in from the top and then it's actually just trickling all over this top surface area. Um, and a lot of all these plants, well in fact all of these plants have actually got these little parcels and I'll show you now. Oh great, that's a really loud airplane. Never mind, we'll wait till that's passed. Yeah, anyway, let me show you now. So you see there, look. So that's basically tights, you know, or like patios, as women would wear. It's just a little bit of aquasol in the bottom. The roots of the plant go into the aquasol, and then you just put a little rubber band around the top, fold it over, and you've got a neat little parcel. As long as that bottom bit stays moist, it's perfect. So I think I'm going to place this one in here. So just behind here, I'm not going to be able to do it one-handed, but that's going to look wicked. I've got quite a few other ones as well. I've got some other ferns as well that I'm going to put in there but yeah I think that's going to look really cool and also what's brilliant about it is that just like the rocks I can just take that out when I need to so nothing's being planted that's the key see I want this to be able to be you know moved around cleanable at any point so to make the parcels what we need to do is remove most of the soil that's on the plant itself and then you need to just split it up into as many pieces as you want. I'm just going to split it into two because, you know, maybe three, whatever. Whatever you think you, you need, you can do. And then just put it into some water and rinse off the remaining soil. You don't need to get every last bit off, but, you know, get the majority of it off. Take your tights or pantyhose. open them up and then you can put inside some aqua soil. I'm using the tropical aqua soil, you can use whatever you want. Just place it in the middle like that. And then take the roots, put them into the tights, swish them round into the aqua soil and then you just put elastic band around it, tighten it up all the way through and there you go. You have got a nice neat little plant parcel.
Oh, guys, guys, guys. When I was just getting those ferns out, look, found the Nerf Worm. Let's feed it to Pancho. Also, for the sake of the, you know, why not just give it a go, I've left some ferns out of the little packet of Axel as well, but I've cleaned off the roots completely. I'm just going to put them in some small gaps at the side and just see if that works. It might do, it might not. I mean, sometimes it just takes a while for ferns to adapt to their new environment, but normally they're quite hardy and they will find a way to survive. Okay, so you remember that substrate that we saved earlier from the other aquascape. It's time to clean that up and we can put that in as our nice base. To clean our gravel, you just need a bit of water like we've got here, sieve. Again, this is one of those don't tell the wife moments. Put it in the top like that in the water and then you just chuck some in. Around, and there we go, caught all our gravel. So, and then just do that until you've got enough sand. Okay guys, that's essentially the framework built. So the only thing to do now is to add the finer detail. So smashing up some of these rocks you can see here, the Sirius stone, smashing it up for smaller pieces. I can plug the gaps with it. It'll just look a lot, lot more authentic to have the odd bit. Not too small though, because we don't want it to be able to be a choking hazard for the turtle. You know, I've never actually seen that happen, but I've heard it can happen for them to try and swallow the gravel. So we need to be careful with that. Um, also, I'm gonna add some little pieces of wood as well, just to tie it all together. As I think we're there. I think that's that's good. I don't want to go any more than that. I don't want to overcrowd it. At the end of the day, it's not a massive tank. So I know the turtle's like, well, it's like that big at the moment, but it will grow quick. They do grow quick, especially from this tiny little size upwards. So this will probably be really good for about six months, I reckon. Maybe a little bit less. We'll see how it goes, but you know, we've got options anyway, so it's not a problem. I'm really happy of how the wood's turned out. It proper looks like a root system for the ferns. It's actually really warm under here, so I need to get a thermometer and just test what the temperature is down here. Uh, actually, it's not too bad there, but I mean, right next to the light, obviously, it is. But but yeah, I think that's really looking really good. And we're at the stage now we can fill it up with water. We'll not fill it up because if you look here, the way that I've sloped this down is because I've added like a platform for the turtle to be able to go there, 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 and then up. So the water level will come to about here, and then they'll know to go that way that's just, they're naturally drawn to the, to bask as well so i mean most turtles don't actually bask as much as some other types of turtle but you know you still need to have the option they still need to be able to get up there and they still will bask just not as much anyway let's add some dechlorinated water in okay that's the water filled up we're all ready to go just going to put the filter on and just make sure everything's working right oh uh, yeah that's working really well look you don't want too much flow because obviously they're going to struggle to swim otherwise because they're only little things I'm saying they because I'm so used to having two turtles from the nine years I had two. But it's not they, is it? It's it's him or her or it. Because we're just getting the one, remember? One is absolutely fine. Like I've said before, they can wake up one morning and just kill each other after five years of being friends. So I don't want that on my hands. And as I said, guys, I must be responsible and tell you, this is not the permanent setup. So don't think that you can go out and get one of these and that's it. You will need to upgrade. Even musk turtles, they're probably the smallest species you can get for like keeping in aquariums but they're still gonna need a decent sized aquarium at some point. So don't think that you can go out and get just like a little aquarium and then that's it. Because later on, you're gonna to have to rehome if you're not willing to spend the money, the time, all the effort in keeping turtles. But it is very rewarding, I'll give it that. So this is working really well now, guys. Sorry about all this. I should probably wipe that, shouldn't I? Hang on. In my opinion, that's pretty much there. Just a couple more things we need to do. I wanna add some little details as well. So I think I'm just gonna go for a Nubius on some rock, just for some super glue. Normal super glue is absolutely fine to use underwater. It goes inert as soon as it touches water. So we're all good. There. So little pebbles, bit of anubia soil, and then they stay in place. Plus, it means I can take them out whenever I'm want to do any cleaning. They're not like locked into anything. Then you might also be thinking that you know turtles need a heater. That would be true. You would need to keep the water around 22 degrees. 22 is like perfect. 
Well, my ambient temperature is 20 in the room because I heat the room. Obviously, there's loads of fish tanks, the most efficient way of doing it. I also heat some of the tanks as well, like the tropical ones, but it's relevant. Yeah, so the room is at 20 degrees, which means the water's at 20 degrees, just tested. And then, but with the heat lamp as well, it brings the water temperature up to 22. So we're perfect, we don't actually need a heater. It's a small volume of water, that's probably why that's enabling that to happen. You might find that you'll need to get a heater as well for you if you've got a bigger volume or bigger tank. I also might find on a really cold day, the temperature might drop slightly. Probably not though, because the room in here still stays at 20 because I've got a really good heater that just kicks in. So we'll just have to monitor it, see how it goes. It's the same with any pets, any animals, any fish. You just need to constantly monitor and check and make sure all your parameters, temperatures, all that stuff is in check. So then you should be fine. But let's get that Anubius in now. We're all set up, ready to go. So in the next video, I'm gonna go and pick up the turtle with my boys. I can already see it's gonna be a great video. You're gonna have a good time. You know, I'm not gonna do that in this video. It's gonna be way too long otherwise. It's already a long video, obviously. Build videos take time. We're also gonna look at more details about care for musk turtles, food, and more about their requirements and that sort of thing as well. So that's got lots to look forward to.